anybody who has a Brita uh, purifier, what are the advantages of having reverse osmosis system? These are the Brita system or the pure system and refrigerator filters. These are just simple carbon and it gets expensive because carbon can only process so many gallons of carbonate, uh, chlorinated water and then you have to replace the filter. And, and what, does, what does it specifically filter out? It's just chlorine, but the problem is it doesn't even filter out that much chlorine because in order to filter out chlorine, you need a certain amount of contact time with the carbon. Mm -hmm. And when you turn on the faucet and it just runs right through, um, it's not going to filter out the chlorine. Whereas our, our filters, these are top of the line filters, the carbon filter has a lot of contact time with the with the water so it's more likely that the chlorine will be filtered out and also this carbon filter could probably last about five years whereas if you're replacing your Brita filter like you should probably every three months something months. like that yeah every three months and that gets expensive I mean this whole system is under three hundred dollars and that's for everything most of these components for the normal household will last uh, several years. Yeah. You know? and yeah, I'm recommending three to five years. Yeah. And the best thing to do is get the TDS uh, meter, and that way you know exactly when to replace that. Yeah. And after a while, you get so used to drinking such great water that if the filter isn't working right, you'll know. You, know, you don't even need a TDS right. meter. But for somebody new, yeah, I'd suggest, you know, every three months they test their water and make sure it's at the level where it should be. I mean, there's truly no smell, no flavor aside from uh, tasting refreshing.